Uh, the reason for making this brief video is to just try to give everybody uh, who's interested in the Master of Divinity program a real quick introduction. One thing that you may have noticed is we don't have anything really in print yet uh, on the website yet. We had hoped to have it by now, but we don't. It's in the process. We're working out some of the fine print. In the meantime, if you do have more questions and this video is not enough information for you, I can send you a PDF file that sort of lays out the program. And actually, we have copies of it sitting here in the graduate office that should be able to answer most of your questions. We also have some flyers and information sheets that might answer some of your basic questions. But if I could describe to you what the Master of Divinity program is, uh, I would describe it as uh, an advanced professional graduate degree where a student's going to be taking a 75-hour program called, uh, where at the end result you have what's called a Master of Divinity. Uh, within uh, the North American context of ministry training, uh, if you're involved in any type of denomination, most major de mainline denominations, what will end up happening is you have to actually have a Master of Divinity in order to be ordained. While within Churches of Christ we don't have any process like that, one thing that I noticed that I appreciated so much about this degree was that uh, you really could do a very comprehensive graduate training where students are going to be having to find themselves deeply studying the Bible. Uh, textual issues. They're going to have to be deeply studying and engaging in ministry concerns. They're really going to have to think about the way that they preach and teach and interpret texts to congregations. People who go through Masters of, of Divinity programs really have to spend a significant amount of time dealing with church history, with theology, all of the major issues that we have related to what it means to be involved in Christian ministry. So all of that is going to be found within this curriculum. Uh, but in addition to that, one thing that's very unique about our program is we have uh, what's called a spiritual formation program. And the reason I'm really excited about this is the spiritual formation program deals with the other side of ministry. For the most part, people have always criticized schools because they don't deal with this enough. You know, you might have somebody who has a lot of great skills for ministry, but at the same time their character is lacking. They don't really have what it takes at a personal level or at a spiritual level to really be involved in ministry. So we have this spiritual formation program where outside the classroom students are going to be working with spiritual mentors and advisors and uh, fulfilling some different types of assignments, non-academic type assignments, where they're going to be able to explore uh, themselves personally but also explore uh, God spiritually, be able to try to sort through problems, strengths they have, weaknesses they have, and what they can do to try to uh, work with these things. That part of it is three years. It's supposed to lay out at the same time you're doing the classwork. Uh, uh, so that's just a, a real basic general description of the program. Uh, and like I said, if you want to know more details, more specifics, I would be very happy uh, to let you have those. And, uh, and you can come by and pick up a copy here or I can send it to you uh, by email or something like that. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.